Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing really quick how I do my loaded envelopes. I'm just going to show you the basic. There's plenty of videos out there. I'm not the one that came out with the idea. Um, and I want to say I pretty much learned this from crafting with Liller a long time ago when she was showing us how to make mini um, envelope embellishments. And I just use the same concept using a 12 by 12. So any type of sheet of paper that you want to turn into an envelope without using um, any type of tool, this is strictly by hand. So I do have a swap that I'm working on and um, this is the paper I decided to go with to make the envelope. And um, I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. And then I'll probably add a video clipping to the end to the end of this showing you um, how I ended up decorating it. Um, I probably won't show as far as what's inside. I'm not sure yet, but anyways, um, let's get started because this is really simple. So here is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And what I normally do, well, I used to do this in the beginning. Now I kind of just do it by um, freehand because I don't really need to anymore. But you go from corner to corner and you kind of just do like a slight pinch in the middle here. Okay, and then you're going to do that again to the other side. Just so, I'm going to make sure it gets there. And then you're going to do that pinch here. And then it, you're going to kind of see the, the middle of the sheet, okay? And that's what you're using that, um, that's why we're doing those pinches from side to side, just to kind of give us the middle, the center of this 12 by 12 without using any rulers or anything like that. Then, um, again, when you see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you see right here, there's that little X. You guys can probably see it that way. So that is the center. Okay, so what I do is you're going to put in both sides, and I do like to use my bone folder for this. You're going to um, put in both sides, and you're just going to smooth it down like that. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do here. And then I'm going to go with this angle. We're just going to, you can overlap it a little bit, but not too much. And then we're going to um, flatten it down here. You can use a ruler, whatever you can, just to seal that crease. So then you already have that shape of an envelope. Then with this bottom part, you're going to um, line it up with the two edges. That's normally what I do. And... Usually if you do a pretty good job, you don't have to do any um, cutting, but sometimes you do and it's not a big deal, you just cut it off. But it looks pretty good right here. So I'm just gonna flatten this up here. And like I said, you can do the same technique with little sheets of paper to make smaller sizes. Um, I make, this is exactly how I make my mini little envelopes. And there we go. Um, what I also, some people can either cut that off or you can leave that. If it's double sided like this, you can, um, you know, tuck this down, which I probably will and kind of make an even again, just like that. So it looks like that. Um, I also use decorative scissors if I want the edges to be a little bit, um, designed, you can add pom-pom trim however whatever you like um, now I'm going to glue this down I probably won't glue that down so I'm not sure what I'm doing here but we're at least gonna glue the envelope down so you're gonna glue just this part right here that's normally what I do don't do a whole lot and let's see so I'm gonna use my glue gun if it's even hot enough yet you can use any type of glue I like to use glue my glue gun for this just so I know that it will stay and so you've got those two sides and then you can also do which I think I normally do is this bottom here just like that and you're gonna raise it so this part is glued this bottom part is glued and then this side is glued 
So we still have those little sides right here, which I'm gonna go ahead and glue again. We'll see. Just a little bit there. And you go in about a half an inch in from the line just so the glue doesn't um, splurge out so it looks neat. Just like that. I'm trying to debate if I want this down. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that down. But like I said, you can leave, since I creased it already, it will, it'll probably look better that I go down with it. So we're just going to do that. But usually when it's only one sided, I don't do this because there's no pattern right here. But I think that looks cute. I'll probably either do something else with it. But here's my envelope, guys. It's super cool. It's easy. And then you fill it up and you decorate it. Um, normally I don't do anything to the back besides put like a um, handmade sticker or some type of um, thing on there. But that's all you can do. And then you can even make these to send them out. Like if you wanted to, um, you can fold them in. You can see how that looks right there and crease it and put you know a couple stamps out or even make it into a little package and it works just fine but I will be decorating this so I'll probably add that to this video when it's done and um, yeah so hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys have any other questions leave them down below and I'll see you guys on my next video take care guys bye all right, guys, so I just wanted to come on back to show you guys how I ended up decorating it. Um, I'm not going to show what I'm going to put inside just because um, in case she watches the video, she doesn't know um, it's hers, but um, this is how I ended up decorating it. I added this green trim, like ruffle trim. This was from the 99, and so I just added it around the bottom and then around the edges of the envelope. I added this um, cute little flower and then this gold leaf underneath and um, it is kind of like llama themed a little bit so I did want to add some llamas. I don't have a whole lot of llama stuff so um, yeah so I just used what I did have. So I used some of these stickers and um, I had that word sparkle and I added it to some white sparkly paper just to make it pop out. Um, and then this is a beaded necklace that I always cut and use as trim. And here is a little tassel that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby or a little chain here dangle that's in the um, llama theme. So I went ahead and added that and she can just take that off and reuse it however she pleases. And then use, um, I also had this flower and then I put a little white pom pom on there just to make it again kind of colors pop out and then these are just like little um, stickers that were from a unicorn sticker pack from a Dollar Tree but I liked the little diamond shape so I went ahead and used that and these bling stickers those came with the llama sticker pack from Michaels so I just went ahead and used them to decorate and then I did end up using some decorative trim scissors just to do the outlining of the envelope but majority of the time you can't even see that because there's the goodies all um, cover that and then in the back I just added this little um, wooden piece I have quite a few of these that I got from AliExpress and it just says I made with love and then I added that little um, bling little gem there so it was really quick and like I said, you can just decorate them however you like and I hope you guys enjoyed it, this quick little project share and I hope it helped you out and you can start making these if you don't have any of those special tools out there. Alright guys, I will see you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.